So in case you guys are unaware for some odd reason, Rockstar literally just had GTA 6 leaked by a hacker. Now this is pretty big news because GTA 6 has been on the minds of players for many, many, many years. They have been bleeding GTA 5 dry for as long as they possibly could because Rockstar knew that they found a gold mine when it came to Grand Theft Auto Online. Because of GTA Online, it delayed the inevitable release of GTA 6 much, much longer than the previous iterations of GTA because they didn't need to come out with another game. GTA Online was making them so much damn money that literally the last thing on their mind was GTA 6 and they were able to take their sweet, sweet time with it over 10 years, I believe it's been, to try to come out with another GTA. GTA 5 literally spanned the life of two console generations. It's absolutely insane stuff. But now, Rockstar has been forced to respond to this leak, and they have confirmed that the GTA 6 leaks are, in fact, true. So we're going to get into the article, guys. But of course, before we do, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know where to get today's story, and let's get into the video, guys. All right, guys, today's article calls for us from Bounding Into Comics, and it says, Rockstar Games reassures Grand Theft Auto 6 will not be delayed after raw gameplay footage leaks online. We are extremely disappointed. Well, I would hope that the game doesn't be delayed considering you had, have had almost a decade to work on this game. So it's insane to me that you would even bring up the idea that this could possibly be delayed just because it got leaked. But let's get into it. So it says, a hacker has exposed multiple videos of Grand Theft Auto 6, but Rockstar Games have assured they do not anticipate any disruption leading up to its eventual release. Fans have been eagerly awaiting news on the next entry to Grand Theft Auto series, so much so one man even invaded a live German TV show demanding answers last year. Details had begun to slowly leak out with rumors and insider sources claiming one of the game's protagonists would be female and would avoid content deemed punching down. Now that comment right there has got me extremely worried for GTA. GTA is a franchise that doesn't pull punches, okay? It is known to be very vulgar. It is known to be very violent. It is known to be one of those just extreme versions of a story that you don't see too often in today's PG-13. I don't even know if it's PG-13 anymore. We're damn near like PG rated at this point, but you don't see that too much in today's day and age. And it's a game that's just so much fun to play. GTA 3 was probably one of my favorite ones by far. Vice City was also very good, but you know, I, I'm I'm still a big fan of GTA 3 personally. I thought that game was like like very grudge, very gringy. I, I just I think it was very good. So when they start talking about, oh, we're gonna we're gonna start pulling punches, we're not gonna punch down in our jokes, it gets me a little bit worried. I'm not gonna lie to you, because now those are the same talking points that a lot of entertainment and media has regarding TV shows and movies and whatnot. So if they start talking like that, it usually is a pretty big red flag that this shit's about to get real real either woke or real soft. It says, however, the floodgates have now opened. Tebow Tuber hacker posted on the fan-supported GTA forums, GTA 6 America's leak. Uh, hi there. Here are 90 footage clips from GTA 6 the user casually announced. It's possible I could leak more data soon. GTA 5 and 6 source code and assets, GTA 6 testing build, my telegram is XYZ, whatever. In a later post, the user showed an image of what seemed to be Grand Theft Auto 6 uncompiled source code, including the alleged code name Americas, along with images of the .rar uh, containing the videos. They also claimed that they were behind the Uber hack earlier this month by citing the New York Times report. Suffice to say, the current version of the thread has removed the downloaded links. Even then, the original file host has also uh, ho had the files removed, along with third-party uploads on social media and YouTube, being purged. A later version of, of this person's post was edited to read, okay, so this has gone unexpectedly viral, woke up to 3,000 Telegram DMs. If you are an employee of Rockstar or Take Two and you're trying to contact me, send me a message containing blah, 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 blah on Telegram, or you can email me at ProtonMail, whatever his email is, uh, from your corporate email address. I will try to read all these replies soon. I am looking to negotiate a deal. <laughs> so, okay, so this guy clearly wants money, all right? Typical. A hacker Hacking a major corporation is now trying to get money in order to uh, basically give back what he stole. This is basically a Robin Hood effect that a lot of these hackers have. And it doesn't surprise me that he's trying to do this, but I don't think Rockstar is going to pay him, all right? I, I just don't think Rockstar is going to literally try to pay him considering that he already leaked the information and he leaked 
some of what's actually coming to the game. So really, like, what do you, what leg do you have to stand on? It's one thing if you threaten them and then you show them that you have this information before you leaked it online, but you already leaked it online. So uh, all you're really trying to do is threaten to release the source code. That's essentially what you're trying to do, which I know is huge. Don't get me wrong. I know it's huge. But this spells like a very bad thing for GTA 6 when it comes out first day, right? So you you know that a lot of these people who are going to buy this source code off of this hacker are probably going to make mods for it. There's going to be other hackers and cheaters for whatever online gameplay. Automatically, there's going to be cheats right off the bat. They come out once this game releases. So once you have day one hacks and day one cheats, it's because the source code was released, essentially. So it doesn't spell anything good for GTA 6 in terms of the online gameplay or whatever. But uh, I definitely don't see Rockstar still deciding to want to pay this guy. I just don't see them doing it. It says, while it may be questionable to negotiate after releasing such a large amount of Grand Theft Auto 6 information, the user did reveal the game's source code. Should it have any online features releasing, it would be a free pass to hackers, along with allowing anyone to pirate an early build. The current version of the post has removed the negotiation message. Reports have indicated that Grand Theft Auto 6 videos showed characters walking through a Vice City metro station uh, in indicating prior rumors of the game taking place in a Miami-like area were true, Vice City, as it was the original 2002 Grand Theft Auto game, is based on Miami. Along with implementing Red Dead Redemption's NPC uh, conversation system, the rumored female protagonist has also been confirmed. Store robberies, strip clubs, in-game brands such as Pibwiser and Vespucci, and of course, guns and cars all return. Rockstar Games released a statement confirming the files were obtained by hacking, along with copyright strikes confirming the video's legitimacy. We recently suffered a network intrusion in which an unauthorized third party illegally accessed and downloaded conf confidential information from our systems, including early de uh, development footage for the next Grand Theft Auto. At this time, we do not anticipate any disruption to our live game services nor any long-term effect on the development of our ongoing projects. Rockstar confirmed suggesting Grand Theft Auto 6 would not suffer due to the hack. Well, I mean, one of the big things I have to ask is, don't you think you should check into your network security at this point? Because if you got hacked this bad and this casually, you got to say that your network is definitely compromised. You know what I mean? So I would hope that uh, on top of obviously trying to come out and do PR damage control, that you somehow have people working on your security systems because they need a lot of work, clearly. It says, we are extremely disappointed to have any details of our next game shared with you all in this way. Our work on the next Grand Theft Auto game will continue as planned and we remain as committed as ever to delivering an experience to you, our players, that truly exceeds your expectations, Rockstar emphasized. We will update everyone again soon and of course, we will properly introduce you to this next game when it's ready. We want to thank everyone for their ongoing support through this situation. So like I said, I, I, I am not surprised that there is a hacker that has tried to come out and basically steal the spotlight from Rockstar, okay? Rockstar kind of did that to themselves, honestly. In my opinion, you guys can maybe disagree, but Rockstar has been milking GTA 5 so hard that they know people want GTA 6. People have wanted GTA 6 before the PS5 was even released. And now with the PS5 being released and Grand Theft Auto being pushed yet again on a whole nother new console, two generations already, people are fed up. They're fed up. So they're not going to feel bad for Rockstar. They're not. They're basically going to troll Rockstar and say, well, at least somebody gave us information because you're clearly giving us nothing because you want to continue to milk gta 5 for as long as you possibly can so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know we don't tell your story and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out